Bob Jones University partners with The Blood Connection twice a year for a week-long blood drive. This year the blood drive is a little different. Bob Jones University is combining with North Greenville University and Furman University to bring in more blood than ever before. Bob Jones has hosted its own blood drive each semester for many years. And while BJU has brought in an impressive number of units, it's time for the Bruins to step up their game. The student bodies of Furman University and North Greenville University are doing their part to out-donate BJU. Billy Watson, Director of Student Services at NGU, sums up the purpose behind the joint drive. The goal is to get as much blood, you know, as many pints of blood as you can, so if you can get students motivated any way possible, I think that's a good deal. But now, it's Bob Jones's turn. There has been a great amount of student participation in the past, but this time, donating is more important than ever. Paul Bixby of The Blood Connection explains why. Every school promotes it the way they want to promote it, and then at the end, um, we just figure out what is a percentage of participation. Orlin Sergev is in charge of organizing the firm and drive. There's a lot of latent, you know, spirited rivalry between, between all three universities, and, uh, you know, I think uh, Bob Jones's proposal to, to kind of tie this to some sort of uh, blood drive competition and com campaign was very successful. Regardless of the winning school, the real winners are those who are helped by the blood collected. It's not so much about the competition, but just as if we can get more blood uh, to help save lives and uh, help the blood bank, I think that's all, all worthwhile. We think, you know, it's, it's great because ultimately it's going to go for an amazing cause. So the winner of the competition will ultimately be the, you know, the numerous lives saved by all the blood that will be donated. If you want to get in on the competition, come out to the University Blood Drive in front of the Alumni Building from noon to 7, October 7th to 11th. And don't forget to use the hashtag BleedBruin. Reporting for Sweet Carolina, I'm Maria Irvin.